Okay, so I'm making this video. It's 1.53 a.m. and Alan and I are both awake. Um, documenting heartburn. AJ had made a video about how we shouldn't have heartburn after the surgery and I know Barry you had left me a comment stating you never had heartburn until this surgery. So I first thing in the morning I am making a doctor's appointment and calling my surgeon Dr. Oakley to ask him specifically about this. And I will be informing you guys on what they say. Because when you get really bad heartburn, does anyone else get like foam in their mouth? And I'm not talking about the foamies. I'm talking about you get heartburn and you get foam. Well, to be honest with you, I kind of forgot what heartburn feels like because I have not had it in forever. But it is definitely like down and it is definitely the beginning stages of burning of heartburn. This concerns me. I shouldn't have it. Um, I ate dinner just fine last night appropriately. You know, was something approved and I'm waking up at 1.54 a.m. with heartburn. And I'm wondering, AJ and anyone else, if it is in fact the starting of an ulcer. Is it possible to, if, if you're going to get an ulcer, I think I'm answering my own question, is it possible to get an ulcer this stage of the journey? I, I'm, I, I'm sure it is. Anything's possible. Um, but it is definitely, definitely, I mean, that's what it feels like at least. And I got that saliva going on in my mouth with the, the foaming from it. I'm wondering if it is because I've had so much decaf coffee lately. I mean, a lot. <laughs> um, I'm wondering if that has something to do with it and drinking it right before I go to bed. I'm getting all my other fluids in. But, and then, you know, the last couple of days, I haven't felt that well because of the chicken and um, because of throwing up. And, but, then, I mean, I woke up, went to the bathroom, came out here, um, watched a couple of videos, and immediately started feeling that burning sensation. So I didn't wake up with it. It was after, actually, I had gotten up on my feet. So, I would really like to know, anyone post, well, first, pre, if you have heartburn, or acid reflux, or GERD, and I guess it's all the same, um, how bad it is, and then two, if you are post-op, and you had it previously, and you have it it's still, or if you did not have it post-op and you had any kind of weight loss surgery, specifically, well, any kind of weight loss surgery, especially the RMY, because that's the surgery I've had, um, I hear DS patients don't get it at all. And I don't know if my brother gets it or not. You know, he's a DS patient, and I, you know, I'm going to call him tomorrow and ask him. But it's definitely hurts a little bit and like it burns and so I'm kind of scared that I am developing an ulcer and I'm wondering if it might be caused from my food getting stuck the other night. I don't know. I'm just, I'm guessing. It's a guessing game here. So I will, will be calling Dr. Oakley's office. Um, I do have a prescription for um, a heartburn medicine that I'm, well, it's not really a heartburn medicine, but it is um, medication that I'm supposed to take before I eat. 
and I also have Carafate. Um, my brother calls it stomach slime. He he uses that too. And he specifically prescribed those to me because I was feeling this major, 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 major pressure. Probably, I'm not going to give you a date. I'll ask Dr. Oakley when that was that he prescribed that. Or more than that, I could actually look at the bottle and let you guys know. Or I'll just ask him. So I've had it filled twice. But, anyhow, I just wanted to record this. Another um, thing that I'm going to be looking into in regards to my gastric bypass journey. So, it's definitely heartburn. It feels. Excuse me. It feels like burning. I can almost feel it in my back. It's straight through into my back. So, other than that, I feel fine. But I will be calling. Excuse me. Hiccups. I will be calling Dr. Oakley. Um, hiccups. Why are they hiccuping? I haven't eat anything. I think it's just a couple because it's gone now, I think. So anyways, um, those are my questions. And I will be calling the doctor in the morning. Well, it's already morning, but when they open up to see what they say. So um, last time I had that full feeling. He had told me if it didn't go away that they were going to have to do a, a scope see and I really do not want to have that done really really do not want to have that done so I don't know anyhow everyone take care and AJ if you're listening to this can you give me some input thanks so much you guys bye bye